Okay, this footage you're watching right now, it probably looks pretty weird, and, and that's because it's being shot on an anamorphic lens and it's not de-squeezed. So let's go ahead and take care of de-squeezing like that. Perfect. Now it looks proper and it looks extra wide. Have you noticed? That's because it's shot, once again, on an anamorphic lens, but it's not being shot on the camera that I normally use. No, because I shoot on an R6. It's being shot, it's being shot on an iPhone 15 Pro with a real anamorphic lens mounted to this thing. I'll get into it, I'll break it down and how this all works. Let's, uh, let's go unbox it first. There, there are some cool things in this box. I've already, I've already opened the box. Uh, there are some sick things in here. We're gonna unbox it on the camera at least. All right, so let's move this out of the way. This is from Sandmark. This video is sponsored by Sandmark. Let's get this stuff out. We have a phone case, which is nice. First and foremost, we have the anamorphic, which is what this video is about primarily. We also have this telephoto, which is probably cool, but we're not gonna use it in this video. We also have a step-up ring for filters. We have a filter itself, which you can see here. And then uh, we have the phone case, like I mentioned, where you know this mounts onto the phone case. So let's go ahead, let's open this real quick. That's nice. Phone case, it's got threaded uh, my current case. And uh, this is the 15 Pro. Let's see, the lens. We have the lens itself, take that off. First look at the anamorphic lens here. P pretty nice looking. Screw it on, make sure your lens is clean. It's probably gonna help your case here. There's like a line on top that I'm gonna try to line it up with. I think that's gonna, because when you have an anamorphic lens, it will compress the image from like, you know, this to that. But if you have the lens on sideways, it's gonna compress it like this and that's not right. Let's film the rest of the video with the anamorphic rather than with this. Even though I like this, the video's about this. Let's, uh, let's try it. But okay, this is what a normal 16 by nine aspect ratio, non-anamorphic lens shot looks like. Let's switch to the anamorphic so you can see the difference. We'll go back and forth, okay, ready? Now, and this is with the anamorphic. So you can see that it's a lot wider and it looks like the same height because it is the same height, but it's a lot wider, yet the focal length is the same. There's not like more squeezing from the foreground to the background. It's just wider and we'll break it down. But uh, let's talk about the video sponsor, should we? Probably, probably should talk about that. Okay, so this video has kindly been sponsored by Sandmark. They're a company that makes like lenses for your phones and GoPros and specialty items for like really upping the cinematography, if you would with the gear you already have. Once again, thanks Sandmark for the lenses. They, they supplied the lens for this video, the case for this video, the other lenses that I just unboxed, which we'll make more videos in the future with. But for now, thank you. Okay, let's go, uh, let's break it down a bit more then, should we? Now, of course, that this lens itself it might be an anamorphic, but, it, but it's a phone lens anamorphic, which means it's probably not gonna be as good as a real anamorphic lens would be, but it is real. It's just not gonna be as good as like, you know, a $3,000 lens because this lens is only $135. It's $135 fully. It's hard to beat. But of course, with a cheaper priced item, you'll get some cheaper priced item problems. Kind of like how this has a slight fish eyeing type of warp to it. Once again, it's $135. You can't expect, you know, perfect but you can, you can still get an anamorphic look, which is amazing because you think 10 years ago, this, this wasn't even somewhat possible. And now shooting on an iPhone, or shooting on, uh, would you shut it, mate? And now shooting on an iPhone at 4K 30 in ProRes RAW in like the Black Magic app, by the way, it's unfathomable to think that this is possible on a phone, something that you make calls and go on social media with, yet you can make an entirely good looking movie that you probably couldn't have even believed would be possible 10 years ago. Now here's the deal. Do I recommend this lens vlog setup? Probably not. It, it has a lot of warp to it, a lot of shake. And when you move it around like this, you know, it looks weird. It's not the best ideal situation. However, it's hard to complain when, when this is what you're getting out of a phone. Okay, but real talk, right? There's only two things about this lens that I don't like. The first being that it kind of has like a warp top and bottom, like a fisheye lens, not my thing. Second, and probably more importantly, is that this lens, the anamorphic that we're shooting on now, does not mount vertically up and down like with a locking mechanism like you would with most lenses. When you put a lens on your camera, right, you don't have to wonder if it's properly oriented because it locks itself in place. This doesn't, it, it just spins freely. You have to kind of eyeball it, which means that I could have like the de-squeezing or the warp, you know, crooked without realizing it, you know, on accident and lose the quality and the anamorphic look of my shot the entire reason I'm using the lens in the first place. So I don't like that. 
I think that it's probably an easy fix. That would be a great idea to change or fix if it's possible. Like, you know, put a little stopper mechanism or something like that. To stop this from rotating too much because it kind of, that's the only problem I have with it. It's pretty sharp for a phone. It, it looks pretty good. Like in terms of quality, the warp is something I can get pie with and not be too concerned about. And, and really, at $135 and using the Blackmagic app, which is free, you can literally have a mini cinema camera that fits in your pocket. Don't have that confused with a Blackmagic pocket cinema camera. That's a different story. Hit the link below, check it out. Even if you don't want to buy it, check it out. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Where keys at? Ugh, what a day it's been. Man. All right.